Hey guys, what's up? My name is Timmy Ham. I'm an artist, illustrator here in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm super excited to be part of the Adobe Stock Make It Happen series. Digital illustration is totally my jam. I love using Adobe Illustrator. I also love using Adobe Stock. One of my favorite things about Adobe Stock is the fact that they have millions and millions of royalty-free assets, which makes it super easy for me to find the images that I'm looking for really quick. With that being said, let's get into this creative brief. Okay, so for this project, I'm gonna be using Adobe Stock to create an album cover. Think about your genre and musical message. What would your stage name be, album title, and track list be? Use these elements to create your album cover using a mix of Adobe Stock assets and original artwork. So I decided to call my album Valley Vibes. So I put together this mood board, kind of wanted it to be summer vibes, fun, chill, kind of bright colors. First, I'm gonna open up my internet browser and we're gonna go to Adobe Stock. Here we go. Okay, so this is what's really cool. At the top, they have photos, illustrations, vectors, videos, all sorts of different things that you can search for and get different assets. I'm gonna be looking for a vector art. I'm gonna search summer and see what comes up. Let's see what we got here. Kind of looking for some leafs, leaf patterns. Oh, that's kind of cool. Now I'm gonna use the Find Similar tool on Adobe Stock to find more options like this one. Yes, I like this. All right, so these these flowers are totally kind of like my vibe. I love these colors, love the way all of it's laid out. It's not a total square because I'm doing a square kind of similar to like if it was a CD or a record label. Let's do it. Okay, let's download this image. So when I get to the mock-up phase, I always start with a pen and paper and I love to sketch to visualize my plan on paper first before I go into the computer. Been digging Adobe Fresco lately on the iPad. It's both vector art and pixel art, which makes it super fun. I'm gonna upload the photo in here. I cropped it as a square so it would fit perfectly on my canvas. I'm just gonna go and change some of the leaves in the different corners and add some shapes and patterns with colors and then I'm gonna outline those. I'm gonna do all of these base colors first. I just need to fill these because I'm gonna go over with a black outline after I do these leaves. All right, now I'm gonna add a layer on top of all these. I'm gonna outline this stuff. All right, so I've got some of those like base color outlines. I'm gonna add some patterns to these, but then I'm gonna draw some patterns on some of these leaves that I think deserve a pattern. All right, now we're gonna do another pattern up here. Kind of a similar pattern as I just did up there. All right, now I'm gonna add this dark pink to this green up here. I'm gonna change it up. You can do that like tiger print thing. All right, so I'm totally digging how this looks. I think I'm gonna add some shapes. So now that I'm done with Adobe Fresco, I'm gonna send this project to Adobe Illustrator on my Mac. Now that I uploaded my project to Adobe Illustrator, I'm actually gonna make a box around my artwork. So my idea was in the center of this album cover, I was gonna do a gradient square. So let's see how that goes. I think I want to add this, I'm going to go, and yeah, like that. There we go. So you have some overlap of that leaf down there. I'm trying to figure out where I want to place the name of the album. All right, guys, I think that's it. I think I am set on this look. All right, so that's a wrap, guys. I am done with my album cover. All right, so now that we're done with this project, let's recap what I just worked on. First, 
I searched Adobe Stock website to find an asset to use in my album artwork. Then I came up with a sketch and a mock-up that I could use as a reference when I started using Adobe Fresco and Adobe Illustrator on my computer. After that, I jumped into Adobe Fresco on my iPad to do all my outlining and coloring. Then I brought it into Adobe Illustrator on my Mac to finish off the gradient and fonts. After the artwork was finished, I created an album cover using Adobe Photoshop. I created a track list and social assets to share my new creation to the world. I hope you guys like this album artwork and I hope you guys like how I used Adobe Stock and kind of incorporated it into my artwork. This project was super fun. I'm super excited that I got to work with Adobe Stock on this Make It Happen series to create this awesome album cover. Thank you.